This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Amidst the global pandemic on the coronavirus, the Bahamas has withdrawn from hosting the Organization of American States OAS 50th General Assembly. Last year at the OAS 49th session in Medellin, Colombia, the Bahamas offered to host this year's session. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs made the announcement of the Bahamas' intent to withdraw, citing the major international health concern, COVID-19. In the statement, the ministry says, having carefully considered all aspects of the matter, the government of the Bahamas has taken the decision to withdraw from hosting the 50th OAS General Assembly in Nassau. The statement continues, the government of the Bahamas has closely monitored the progress of the coronavirus COVID-19 over the past few weeks. On Wednesday, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic as the virus has spread to more than 118 countries with more than 127,000 cases globally and more than 4,600 deaths. Foreign affairs officials say to date, international organizations such as the United Nations and World Bank have canceled or postponed meetings with large gatherings and the numbers of such are increasing daily. In many capitals, large social gatherings have been canceled or postponed. The government of the Bahamas takes seriously the well-being of our citizens and all people throughout the Bahamas, the statement added. Well, a lot has been done over the last year at the New Providence Dump, which is now known as the New Providence Ecology Park, NPEP. Park officials took Prime Minister Dr. Hewitt Minnis, along with the members of the press, on a tour of the 300-acre ecology and industrial park earlier this week. Dr. Minnis remarked that he is very pleased with the transformation of the park and was even more pleased that Bahamians were working on the site. See the day is a miraculous transformation and the plants moving forward and um, most important the Bahamians. Lots of Bahamians are employed. I was impressed that there was a Bahamian who has a PhD in this type of facility and he was recruited and he's working here and you would have spoken to him earlier. So it shows that Bahamians have the capacity of given the opportunity and um, I'm pleased that they were given the opportunity and as we move forward we have to give Bahamians opportunities even more. Project manager of the NPEP, Timothy Hodge, spoke to some of the key elements and transformations of the park that once faced many environmental setbacks. The biggest thing is really getting the waste under control. When we met the site, there was about uh, 95 acres of open garbage all over the place just sitting out in the sun. So getting that uh, consolidated, compacted, and covered was really a big push we did. Um, we imported over 40,000 yards of material from offsite, and we reused about 20 to 30,000 materials, here, 20 to 30,000 yards here on site for the same project. So getting everything capped, contained, and controlled is really the big push of phase one, and that's kind of where we find ourselves now. The result of that is a great reduction in fire risk, a great reduction in smells and mosquitoes and flies and everything else, all the above. So what you find out here today is a much more humane site and a much more secure site that we're very proud of today. According to chairman of NPEP, Felix Stubbs, they are proud and pleased to showcase the achievements of NPEP and will continue to improve to create a secure, sustainable solid waste solution for the island of New Providence and the Bahamas. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis said his government's aggressive stance on immigration is guided by the rule of law and demands of justice. Speaking at the Church of God of Prophecy National Conclave on Wednesday, Dr. Minnis reiterated his government's position on illegal migration and shanty towns. We cannot allow federal illegal migration to the Bahamas, but the rule of law and the demands of justice also means that we should provide a legal path to citizenship and residency for those who are eligible. <laughs> I find manifesto on the matter of immigration. We committed to, and I quote, remove elements which exploit efficiencies and processes, improve fairness for applicants. Dr. Minnis said the seven-member Immigration Committee is working to reduce the backlog of cases in application. And they have made considerable progress. We are committed to ensuring that all those making application in accordance with our laws will be fairly treated. We are committed to ensuring 
of those who are eligible for citizenship and residency and who apply have granted their status in a timely manner. Dr. Minnis said he has advised the Minister of Immigration, Ellsworth Johnson, and the Director of Immigration, Clarence Russell, to work more diligently and at a greater pace to ensure that those eligible for citizenship and residency are granted their new status more efficiently. He said greater effort must be made to ensure the application process is fairer, just, and more efficient. In recent times, Dr. Minnis declared that it was time to take the country back adding that his government will create a strike force that will aggressively pursue illegal migrants. Sports is up next with Gerino Saunders. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.